guys and welcome back to Maddox here of course today we're going to be looking at another mod this mod is going to add a bunch of tiny little things to your Minecraft world to change the way you play in survival it adds a lot of cool things that you probably are going to want to stick around to figure out so let's go ahead and jump right into it the mod is called tiny progressions by cash dia and literally it speaks for itself for how many tiny little things you get in the mod that really changed the way you're going to go ahead and handle your survival Minecraft world now. It'll add in some pretty cool battle axes, some golden netherrack shovels. How cool is that? You could go ahead and make some netherrack rods with gold to make a shovel. It does this with all of these different items. So if you see here, we have a kappa pick. You go ahead and make that with some bricks, some iron, and some sticks. And it has all of these different things, especially the iron sugar cane sword. This thing is ridiculous when it comes to attack look at this a 10.5 attack damage which is actually better than the one you would make with diamond this is insane and look at all of these different armors we can have if you're willing to kill the dragon a bunch of times you'd be able to go and get this armor this is awesome look how cool it looks but the fact of the matter is you'd have to kill the dragon multiple times to even get this sort of armor you get these cool bonuses with strength resistance and fire resistance too but the thing is to make these you need some dragon scales which drop from dragon Dragons. Obviously, there's only one dragon in the game, so you have to go ahead and constantly respawn them to get that. We have a lot of other stuff. We have redstone leggings and, okay, just redstone armor. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I think I look kind of like a Power Ranger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it is the same way when it comes to the lapis armor. Check this out. Yeah, you get to choose which one you want to be. Most of these armors come with some sort of bonus when you get them, but obviously, why would you have any kind of bonus when you have the wood armor? I think it would be more, it make more sense that if you got set on fire, that you would actually lose your armor. Let's go ahead and try that. All right, we got some, we got some fire going on. Let's step inside. Does it do anything? No, it just sounds weird. Maybe it's, maybe it's just gonna let me stay on fire forever. <laughs> no. So it didn't really do anything. That's unfortunate. I think it would make more sense that if you dropped in some kind of fire, that your armor would burn off, making more sense with the wood armor. But enough of that. So you could go and get all of these different kinds of armor. These are only a, a, a fraction of the armors you can get in here. I believe I left a couple out. I think there's a wither armor you can get, and look at the stone armor. But this gives you slowness, so yeah, there's no real reason you would ever want this. It looks pretty cool though. Of course, this mod is also going to give you a lot of decoration blocks. So we have a glowstone that you can actually dye in a bunch of different colors here. How cool is that? Instead of having the regular plain old yellow glowstone, you can have a bunch of different colors, but they actually, in all honesty, look pretty boring I, I and, and ugly. I don't really like Maybe the black one. Maybe the black one I'd like, but other than that, yeah not really going for it and then we have some dirty glass you can make if you really wanted your house i guess to have dirty glass and then <laughs> we have glowstone glass so this will go ahead and glow uh believe around the area just like you would with glowstone and you guys should know by now that i absolutely love new types of light sources so this mod will go ahead and introduce a bunch of different lamps that are pretty unique if you ask me look at that it has a torch on the inside of the glass really cool so you have a regular lamp you have a white lamp orange all of the different colors you can think of you could go ahead and make just like in the glowstone so if you didn't like any of the glowstone you could go ahead and have some lamps that i feel are looking really cool i think i would use a lot of the black maybe the green in the ground to go ahead and match with the grass some pretty cool stuff there also if you're tired of having too much netherrack or too much sugarcane you can go ahead and compress them now into compressed blocks which actually change depending on how much you hey Hey, shush, I'm trying to record here. Relax, cow. But anyway, so you could go ahead and change the different types of blocks. So let's go ahead and check them out. So we have that compressed sugar cane. We have a, another sextuple compressed sugar cane and it changes color. So let's go and check that one out. That looks pretty cool. And then they just get darker, I believe. And then you can go ahead and check out the other. Oh, you can do flush too. That's kind of creepy. I don't think I would ever do that. This mod also comes with a few machines. So we have the cobblestone generator. This is tier two. So if I want to go and get some cobblestone, just click on it. And I think since I'm in creative, it's just going to give me a full stack of cobblestone. It doesn't really matter. But if I wanted to go ahead and pipe things up through it or down below through a hopper, we can do that and get a bunch of cobblestone. And then over in this corner, we have a little lava source. We could go ahead and place that near any type of water and we'll go ahead and get some obsidian. So to show that, let's go ahead and break that, break the ground, put one of those in, put some water right here. And there you go. We got some obsidian. So if you want to easily make some obsidian, 
near your I don't want to get near here because that's just gonna ruin a bunch of that But if you want to go ahead and get the obsidian really quick You could go ahead and make one of those which is easily done But again some hardened stone which is also included in the mod and some lava hardened stone is made by using Unhardened stone which is made with some cobblestone sand iron and clay not that great But it actually looks like a pretty cool building block if you ask me another really cool item involved in this mod is the growth crystal so the growth crystal works in a 9x9 area it'll go ahead and speed up the production of all of your plants as you see i have some wheat here and some beetroot i literally planted this about two minutes ago and everything grew really rapidly like i i i would have to go ahead and do maybe like a little time lapse in order to figure out exactly how fast but there's different tiers to that growth crystal as well so you know what i went ahead and got the top tier of the growth crystal which is awesome because it actually works as a water source as well the first two tiers do not act like that and then we could go ahead and place some seeds around let's see how fast these things actually grow so i can go ahead and put my mouse over it and i'm gonna go ahead and just place a bunch out oh you see that one already popped up a little bit and i don't know if whale is going to be that much of help with seeing how fast these things grow so it's at 14 percent. everything's growing pretty rapidly i would say it's not ridiculously fast but it's fast enough to make no and it would be a lot different than if you just planted some seeds around near some kind of water source so you could go ahead and get some food a lot faster than you would if you didn't have this mod now if you really wanted to go ahead and speed things up when you have the growth crystal or maybe if you didn't have the growth crystal yet and you want to go ahead and speed things up with whatever you are growing you could go ahead and make something called a watering can watering can comes in different tiers as well so we have the reinforced watering can over here for the one I can see that does a 5x5 area. But if you shift click with it, you can go ahead and see it starts watering everything and everything starts growing a lot faster. Almost like bone meal, but except you don't need the bone meal. So this mod also comes with a bunch of different food options that you could go in and have like bacon and egg sandwich, a mulberry, apple juice, blackberry bushes, which you can get blackberries off of. We go ahead and place that down right here. And there you go, you can go ahead and get some blackberries off of it. Or you can find them off in the wild, like this one, which is a mulberry. But if you didn't want to go ahead and make any of these items, you could go ahead and heal yourself by making small medical bandages, which are made with some paper and some slime balls, which you can eventually get up to making large medical bandages into small medical kits and then into the large medical kit, which is awesome. Instantly heals yourself, provides six extra hearts for a short time. So you go ahead and use this when you're going into a very dangerous area, maybe up against the Ender Dragon. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I really like this mod. I think it's pretty cool. It adds in a bunch of little tiny things to your Minecraft world that aren't too dramatic, but they are enough to go ahead and make a difference in what you do. So if you did enjoy, please go ahead and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. It really helped my video out and it would help my channel out if you go ahead and subscribe to get this kind of content every weekend. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one. Keep modding.